This could be the worst time for you to leave headquarters and go for a yatra. When you are needed at headquarters, you are in field. You see the BJP's effort and their organizational focus is completely on east and south. Opposition is not able to hold either their strong areas or get into the new uh, areas where they need to work on. Ram, Vixit Bharat, Labharti, Hindutva, everything is now subservient to this brand Modi. Do you agree with that, that it is necessary for the Congress to say that Rahul Gandhi isn't our uh, Prime Minister candidate and throw up someone else? What is necessary is that Cong Rahul Gandhi allows somebody else to run the Congress if he is not running the Congress. Look at whoever is advising them. This could be the worst time for you to leave headquarters and go for a Yatra. Yatra was to be done maybe six months, a year before, two years before. Now is the time when you should be meeting with your strategic allies. You need to raise resources. You need to finalize your candidates. You need to firefight on daily basis. When you are needed at headquarters, you are in field. When you were needed to be in field, they were, then you were sitting in Delhi. I don't know who advises them. No, what are you saying Rahul Gandhi should step aside or are you saying that Rahul Gandhi should be clear that if you are going to be the commander, act like a commander, yes. not be on a yatra at a time like this, be at the headquarters because managing. I, you and I know that no decision will happen when nothing important will move in Congress unless Rahul Gandhi approves it. And when you need that minute to minute involvement and his decision making, his opinion, he is in Manipur, Nagaland, he is in uh, in Yatra. I don't think this is the best, best use of his time. The other trend uh, which one notices is North versus South. We mentioned how North and West, the BJP's 80 to 90 percent seats or they dominated 90 percent of the seats in Western and Northern India, Hindi heartland in particular. On the other hand, in the South and the East also, the BJP has found it much more difficult. Is that a trend also which you believe is here to stay? It's not only North and South. East, I always say that East and South, roughly about 220 seats, is starting from Bihar. Don't count Bihar in North. Mm -hmm. In Bihar, BJP's vote share is never crossed 25%. Last time they have won only 17 MPs. So if you take Bihar, Bengal, Odisha, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, this 220 seats, BJP gets only about 40, 45 seats. Despite their success in Bihar, despite their success in Bengal, despite their doing better in Odisha. But what is happening is because they are completely sweeping north and west, these 200 seats or 180 seats which are anti-BJP uh, uh, member parliaments, they are of no use. And hence, if Congress plus these three, four key anti-BJP uh, formations, if they are able to win even 100 seats in west and north, the game will change overnight. More worrying sign is that BJP knows this data as much as you and I, I know. Probably they know more than us. And hence, you see the BJP's effort and their organizational focus is completely on east and south. Look at the number of trips Mr. Modi has done to Tamil Nadu and Keral compared to, say, Madhya Pradesh or uh, Rajasthan. In outside election time, all his visits are to Tamil Nadu, to Keral. Look at the effort Amit Shah puts in building uh, Telangana and uh, um, uh, Bengal. People are not paying attention. In Telangana, BJP got 14% vote. That's a very good launching pad for a party like BJP to take on Telangana. Similarly, in Tamil Nadu, I see BJP getting into double-digit vote share this time. While BJP is investing in their weak areas, opposition is not able to hold either their strong areas or uh, get into the new uh, areas where they need to work on. Them. Now, what is the B uh, BJP's USP in 2024? Is it Ram? Is it Modi, Modi? Or is it Vixit Bharat? It's, it's Modi. And Ram, Vixit Bharat, Labharti, Hindutva, everything is now subservient to this brand Modi. What is the secret sauce of this brand Modi? How is brand Modi in 2024 different to the brand Modi that you worked with in 2014? Well, Mr. Modi's strength is that he evolves... So, and he, his whole agenda also evolves every five years. So in 2002, he's, he was the Hindu Hirdesh Samrat. Mm -hmm. By 2007, he became this able administrator who could bring development to uh, Gujarat. By 2014, he, uh, he evolved as somebody who can change India. By 2019, he evolved as somebody who can bring great pride 
and courage and uh, conviction in the story of India. By 2024, he is position, being positioned as somebody who has brought Ram back to this country. That is how he has evolved and everything what they do is, is subservient to this evolution. <laughs>